It's uh, Saturday afternoon, and UPS just came. Place an order Thursday with uh, online for some ammo. A friend of mine and I did together, and they got here in two days. I was very impressed and surprised, pleased. Getting low uh, with the practice and uh, training, so we decided to get some more. Thought I'd go over what we have and and uh, why we have it. And uh, so we'll just start here. Actually, these are uh, not mine. These are 223 rounds. Uh, these are my friends. And uh, he's actually, I think, these are the ones that he was. He mentioned he wanted a dovetail on. Let me just see if I can open a box here. But uh, apparently, he says uh, the dovetail have a <clears throat> better accuracy. Yeah, he's a hunter and uh, a, a good one. And uh, so he, I think he knows his ammunition. Uh, this is a hollow point jacketed dovetail 223. And he just is looking for something with, that's consistent that he can use um, when he needs. So he got he got a few of those. Uh, then I uh, <clears throat> not as a not as a I don't know if consider this as a prepper, but um, just because of our times that we live in, I think uh, my wife and I have both gotten concealed handgun licenses, and uh, I always carry. I get up in the morning, and uh, when I get dressed, that includes uh, my 380. Yeah, I know some people may say, oh, 380, you know, what are you going to do with a 380? Well, you know, I carry concealed for self protection. And I don't plan on um, <clears throat> taking down an army with it or anything like that. This is a last measure. If someone is, uh, you know, we're at the mall or we're downtown or someone comes into my home. And uh, they're planning on killing us. Then uh, I plan on protecting myself. Uh, we'll do everything we can to avoid that situation. If someone comes in the front door, we can go out the back door. Um, but if it's uh, an, an unavoidable situation, then I don't want to be standing there watching my my wife be shot to death, or um, you know something worse. So, we both carry. I like the 380 because I can, uh, you know, I get 6 plus 1 in the chamber. And uh, I just carry it in my pocket. No one knows. No one ever knows. I, I just have it with me all the time. Go to bed at night, and it's sitting right next to me. So, everyone has a different, different approach on what they like. I like the 380 because I'm always armed. So uh, that you know that that's our first weapon, and then uh, that'll bring us to our uh, five sevens. I like the five seven a lot. <clears throat> um, this is the round that the uh, Secret Service uses. Uh, this is what the the uh, I don't know what you call you know I don't have all the right verbiage here, but this is um, this is what the um, um, embassies. You know, if you if you work in an embassy and you're not out on the battlefield, but somebody attacks the embassy, then uh, you're gonna want as many rounds as you have as you can get. <clears throat> you want a gun that's gonna shoot uh, consistently and reliably. And uh, so this is a this is a small, very high velocity round. And uh, this is what they use in the uh, FN 5.7 pistols and. Uh, semi-automatic carbine. So this one this one ammo here, this one bullet can go either in our handguns or semi-automatic semi -automatic carbine. No, I'll do videos on those later. Um, I like them. I like having 20 rounds in a, in a magazine in a handgun. It's too big as to be as a con concealed carry. But um, boy, these things are, are accurate. And um, Price is pretty good. 
uh, compared to, you know, I think 9mm was the only ammo that was less expensive for a handgun. And I can use it for, uh, for both a handgun and, and a rifle if I need to. Uh, here I have some uh, <coughs> Remington double double odd oh <laughs> double buckshot. Okay, it's got nine pellets. I get this one because it fits my um, Mossberg, and uh, it's got nine slugs in it, or nine uh, nine pellets. And I like the velocity; it's uh, thirteen twenty-five. So I, I, I this I think this is a good good round to have. Uh, I've, I've got some more expensive ones that were, you know, kind of custom made self protection ones. But uh, I think for for what we're looking for here, again, if uh, if we have to, uh, you know, I've, I've watched too many videos and seen too much happen in other countries to sit here and think, well, you know, this is the United States. That will never happen here. I've seen families having to protect themselves um, from those who don't value life as much as they do. So if that situation happens, then this is what we'll end up using. Now these here, these are just, uh, these are the Winchester 12 gauge. Those are kind of my practice rounds. And my wife's not quite comfortable yet with the shotgun that we have so she needs to get out and get something a little more uh, sl slower velocity and uh, less kick for her. But um, yeah, this is what we have. Uh, keep myself and my family safe. Uh, hopefully they all get used for target practice and that's the only thing we ever need them for. Um, and we do a lot of dry practice. We do a lot of dry practice, uh, more so than uh, target, you know, range practice. And uh, when we find out, you know, when we, we do our dry practice, like we were trained at the uh, front site, I'll have a video about that, um, we find that we're much, much more accurate on, on the range. So if you're, uh, everyone kind of has to figure out what, what caliber they want, what they want to do with it. And the 223 is, you know, completely different than uh, using other rounds. And uh, to find what one that fits your need and and get comfortable with it, practice, know how to use it, know how to how to store it, and uh, you know you'll be able to sleep better at night. LDS prepper out. <laughs>